we want to preach to you the gospel of transformation so that you become one of the world-class innovators, world-class changers. Thank you so much for watching Church of Uganda Family TV. A very good evening to you, our esteemed viewer. You who started with us uh, way back in the morning up to now. I welcome you to Flourishing Hub. Flourishing Hub is a program that is on every Monday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Edwin Austin Mukalazi is my name. This program is brought to you by Young and Flourishing Foundation, which gives birth to Young and Flourishing Network. And Young and Flourishing Foundation is built on four pillars. One of these pillars is money. Young and Flourishing is determined to take you through the principles of money. How do you make money? How do you save this money? But most importantly, how do you invest this money so that this money can give you results in turn? Isn't that so wonderful? The pillar number two is daring. In life, identifying and exploring opportunities that will later become world-class businesses. And when they become world-class businesses, you'll become a world-class innovator, like our promo says. That is so wonderful. Thanks to Young and Flourishing Foundation for this opportunity that they give us as the young people to come here and explore and learn so that our mindset is put right. Our mindset is transformed. The third pillar is mentorship. And under mentorship, for you to flourish, you need people who are experienced to speak in your life, to guide you, to open up to you now. If you, do you, you lack mentors, Young and Flourishing is here for you to give you mentors, to mentor you, but also to give you role models that you can look up to, that you can inquire from any time you need. And the last pillar is strategy. You need to have a plan. Now, if you don't have a plan, chances are 100% that you are going to be uh, in other people's plans. Now, Young and Flourishing is here to help you transform your mind so that you can walk by your own plan, not other people's plans, so that you're not other people's plans. Wow. Today and this particular evening, we are blessed to have someone so interesting that is going to share with us on our topic, which is technology use for the young generation. We have had a lot of issues when it comes to technology, a lot of uh, contradictions in technology, and there is also a wrong mindset about technology that we want to put right in this show. With us today is Barbara Atkunda. Barbara Atkunda is the founder or the CEO or the managing director <laughs> of Kids Tabs Zone yeah. Limited. And she's a mother, she's a wife, uh, she's a student, a master's student. She's a Christian. Most importantly, she's a passionate businesswoman. Isn't that so powerful? So, because she's uh, the proprietor of Kids Tab Zone, she's the right person to discuss issues to do with technology for the young generation. Barbara, yes. we are delighted to share in your space this evening. Thank you for hosting me here at Family TV. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Flourish young and flourishing. Mm. I feel humbled and honored to be part of this show. And I'm going to be sharing my views and opinions about technology, how it affects the young people, sure. and the community at large. So, um, Barbara, yes. first greet our viewers. I, I don't want to, to start from the other point. <laughs> okay. Mm. Good evening, our dear viewers, people who are out there tuning in. How are you? How has your day been? And um, I wish you the best as you watch this show. I hope you pick a thing or two to take home with you and that will benefit you and your families. Well, well, Barbara, you, you're running a business uh, that is branded as Kids Tabs Zone. Right. We've had a lot of issues with uh, parents struggling to hide their phones because it is now known that children understand uh, young children below five years understand children, uh, phones better than the bearers, the owners, the parents. <laughs> and uh, 
uh, should we assume that uh, Kids Tab Zone has the answer to the parents that they no longer need to give their phones to children? All they need to do is to visit you? Yes, absolutely, yes. If your child is tampering with your phone, taking it away from you, you do not have time to do your work, to make business calls. You know you've left work and people are following up, but your children are disturbing you. They want to play these games, YouTube, <laughs> watch cartoons. Yes, you, you have an option. You can approach me and get a kid's tablet from me which you will use to give to your child and they will transfer the attention they've been putting on your phone to the kid's tablet. Do you only, do you only venture into kid's tablets or...? Not really. Mm. I do much more than that. It's kid's tablets, smartwatches, uh, we have headphones. Okay, they are all technological gadgets and mm. accessories around phones, phones and accessories. For kids? For kids and for adults as well, oh. but mainly for children. Okay. Because there's been this call, parents are crying, mm. the kids don't leave my phone, they destroyed it, they put it in water, and I'm here to solve all those problems. Should the children uh, put in passwords that we don't know that they cannot yeah. even remember? Yeah, because they don't want you to interrupt their programs, mm. they don't want you to interrupt their games as they are running. So they also, <laughs> even when somebody calls you, they turn it off. <laughs> Yeah, they make it busy because they want to keep on playing the games, playing the games, which affects you as an adult yes. because these are important calls. Mm. So yeah, I'm here and I can do that for you. I can help you by acquiring a kid's tablet from me. Now, that is very important. Now that your business is in line with technology and because it is in line with technology, in your own understanding, in your own words, how can you... Tell us about technology. How can you break down the word technology? I can break down the word technology in a simple way. It's technology is like a scientific way of doing things, scientific knowledge in which, which we apply to our practical ways or our day-to-day -day lives, the things we do every mm. day. And then we now transfer that scientific kind of touch. Not the other traditional understanding we used to the have. The mental one. Yes, but now we take on a, a scientific one, which is much simpler, which is much easier, which simplifies this work, makes it faster. Yeah, that is technology. That is what it does. And yeah. it spreads its wings in so many mm. things. Mm. Yeah, which we cannot list and finish. Okay. We are looking at technology use for the young generation. And um, how does the... How does the young generation use technology today? And to you as uh, someone who is in the technology business, do you find this as a valid way of using technology as young people? How do the young people? Yes, use technology today. They, okay. They're oh, how the, okay. Uh, maybe to put it clear, how does the young generation use technology today? The young generation is using mm. technology differently. Some people are using it rightly, while some people are using it in a wrong way. Now that is where we are going. How do people use it rightly, and how do they use it the wrong way? Because technology is technology after all. Yeah, technology is technology, and it is so broad, mm. we cannot finish it. Mm. So young people are using technology in their day-to-day -day lives. The ones who are using it right are using it in some of the following ways. Mm. Some people who are using it right are using it for their education. They are being able to conduct online classes. People are being able to do online tests, quizzes. They apply, you know, for courses in universities abroad using technology. That is someone who is using it rightly. They want to acquire masters. Some people even go on and get those masters and study online and they are able to graduate using technology. I had a, I had a very funny experience during lockdown. Mm -hmm. I was studying and we had to do exams online. Now this was the first of its kind. <laughs> I can't forget that night. I spent struggling, typing, the typing and then uploading, and then the upload fails, fails then, then you try yes, again. there is a deadline, the system is closing down, wow. Yes, <laughs> but through that, we, you mm. are using technology in the exactly. right way, you exactly. are not using it wrongly. Schools were closed, and um, there was no way, we, and yet the, the, the semester had to 
to go on and mm. on and on. And these lectures. So it was time saving. Yeah, it was time saving. Mm. And during that time, we used that time for what it was meant for. Sure. Just imagine you kept home waiting for COVID to go away so that you come back to university. It mm. would take much, much more time. And still, our, the lecturers accessed to that work, marked it, and some people have been able to graduate sure. and move on to other years. Sure. Yes. Mm. So now that is someone who is using technology in the right way. Mm. Uh, young, the young generation is using technology for e-commerce, call mm -hmm. it online trading. Mm. Yeah, there is so much of this going on online. You open your phone and all you can see is business going on. People are selling different kinds of products ranging from land, real estate, business, cosmetics, accessories, cars, to mention but a few. Mm. And through that, people, they are creating jobs for themselves. Creating jobs for themselves and creating jobs for these people who deliver. I think you've seen these vehicles around, these border border cyclists yes. who deliver they, these the, the, the delivery guys, we call them delivery guys. My delivery guy will be here <laughs> soon. <Yes. laughs> then someone calls, he's like, at what time does the delivery guy arrive? Exactly. Yes. So now, e-commerce is employment. We are beating an employment by far. This person will not think about stealing, will not mm. think about all those bad, bad things because they are concentrating on selling their products online. Same applies to contacting their suppliers. Mm. They are able to bring in their goods because they've chatted down with a supplier. We're fine, China, wherever, Turkey, mm. Dubai, wherever the source is. And the products come in and they, they are sold out to their clients. So online. that is also another right way of using technology. technology. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we, the young generation is also using technology to, to do for health. Health, health mm. has been simplified. Live alone way back where health was a hassle, the system was rotten. You can only get information in the uh -huh, hospital. You go to Mulagwa and then you'll be there for two weeks when they've never attended to you. <laughs> but today with Rocket Health, we have apps like Rocket mm. Health. There are so many. Talk to the doctor. Mm. When you go online, you'll find them there. There are there are so many. And they are there to help you. You just get their number, chat with them, and explain your symptoms, your signs, and they, you're good to go. They get you medication, they deliver, they come, take your blood sample, chap, chap, chap. So you're using technology rightly. Instead of going to line up in the hospital and, you know... Yeah, you, and you, maybe even be of side effect, maybe spread the disease exactly. now like COVID-19. And Ebola that is on now. Uh-huh. So, yeah... It's it's good. It's having and actually, uh, when you talk about when you talk about uh, e-commerce, e-commerce is another. Way. I don't need to go to to, to the market to 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 purchase to, tomatoes. To purchase tomatoes. I, I can easily call a delivery guy. P people exactly. are selling some of these products online. Banking has been made exactly. simple. Mobile banking, mm. you know, Equiduka, Century yeah. Agent. You just get it if even your, on your mobile yeah mobile banking mm. you just do it and then mobile money and then you get your money you don't need to go and make a queue in the bank you save all that time and energy reduce on the theft and all that yes. inconvenience yes. that comes yes. in yes. between okay wow. yeah so those are some of the advantages of mm. a young person who is using technology rightly what about those who use technology the wrong way oh yeah People are using technology the wrong way. For example, going online and you spend your whole day abusing someone, you know, that is like cyberbullying, getting someone's photo and you edit it around, make funny, funny things about it, you know, you start sending that message around all day. That is not beneficial, really. It doesn't add anything to I you. I think we should credit our parliament for the Computer Misuse Act that is trying to now uh, reduce on, on, on cyberbullying. True. Mm. True, because it was also getting out of yes. hand. Yes. Yeah. Someone has, the, because, simply because they have a smartphone and mm. they have got some data, they spend their whole day doing cyber theft, yes. hacking into people's accounts, mm. mobile money, someone hacks, because that's also technology at work, mm. because someone has those IT skills, they hack into your, they get your password in a certain way, or bypass it even, and they get your money off your hard and money. Sure. That person is using technology in a wrong way, mm. abusing people, stealing, theft. Then, um, People are using it to encroach on other people's privacy. Mm -hmm. 
you know mm -hmm. because you see the disadvantage with technology sometimes it's able to tell your location yeah yeah like you post a picture and someone can tell oh this person is on kampala mm -hmm. road <laughs> and it takes away that privacy of yours so you can easily be endangered yes. or put it to you know your security is compromised uh, and, and when you talk about that mm -hmm. uh, a few months back we lost a counselor in kamocha and it was said that that is why that, that is how the murderers were able to follow him up using so using, location. The, using location yeah because most they of knew these he was gadgets. doing his morning drills mm. and so they came following him because you post morning workout and then you put yes. location mm. so this person who is interested in endangering you can easily hunt you down using okay. that wow 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 so that wow, person wow. is using technology in a wrong way i i, I have i have friends who are good members they, 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 they always upload their <laughs> memes on, the on uh, <laughs> exactly so where do those ones fall oh like many lots many memes mm. have some bit of humor yes it depends on where you lie <laughs> some of them carry with them humor they can brighten up your mood mm. but if it's a meme which demeans somebody mm. you know sh ashamed somebody you're, you're attacking somebody's privacy, bringing their secrets into light. Mm. No, 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 I'm not in for that meme. But if it's a humorous meme, it's a verse, you can share something that is development. An inspirational quote. Exactly, that has no problem. <laughs> that has no problem at all. I don't want to mention their names, but they're, 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 they're watching, they're 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 watching this program. And, uh, <laughs> and they're our people. Yeah, they're our people. Yeah. And they... They spice up our, our, our moments when we are lost. So, yeah. wow, this is so interesting. We are looking at uh, technology. And now, why is it important uh, mm -hmm. for, to a young person or to the young generation to, how is technology, in other words, how, technology, how is this technology that we are talking about important to a young person, to this young generation? Is it even necessary, especially to those children below 12 years, those whose gadgets you have in stock do they really need them yes they need them they do need them because of the following reasons mm -hmm. technology is here with us mm. and it's here to stay it's mm. not going anywhere mm. we are not going back anymore and as we operate our day-to-day -day errands the mm. systems that we now operate in everything has been technologized like you cannot take it back and it goes there so that's why these little children are adopting faster because for them they are growing up when these things are already in space for us we grew up when they were not around so we, you we, we wouldn't know <laughs> so they, they understand they understand technology better than us yeah they're understanding it better than us uh, do these people especially uh, those children, our children that are below 12 years, is, <coughs> is it really necessary for them to indulge into these issues of technology or their, their task should be stay at school, study when the teacher writes on the blackboard, you get your pen that dad has bought for you, you write down and that is all. Is it necessary for, is, is, is technology in any way important for these young children? Absolutely, yes. Technology is very important for these young people because of the following reasons. Mm. Like I had introduced yes. earlier, technology is not, it's here with us, it's here to stay, it's not going anywhere. Mm. So, and these young children of ours are growing up in technology. They are finding all these gadgets in the homestead. Mm. Mm -hmm. So how do you want them to grow up and cut that bit of them, cut that off? It's somehow impossible, practically impossible in a way. That's why they end up with your phone. Because they're wondering, why is mommy and daddy calling, chatting, mm. perusing through, even when grandmother comes, grandmother has a phone, uncle comes, sister, blah, 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 the help at home. You know, you're operating the whole home on camera, systems generally, and all that is technology. These cars around, so these children in their little minds, the technology starts from day one. The TV is on. It starts from their little minds. So it grows up with them. So somehow they are not to blame, by the way. They are not to blame. 
but this thing has come it's it's here with us you have to find a way of censoring or filtering mm. which kind of information this young person takes in eh? that's the only way you can now help they need the technology but now who, to which extent do they need this technology you as a parent you need to go the extra mile and put control measures parental control all that for these young children so that you filter and manage what they can access but to say that you can completely cut them off mm. is now hard it's close to impossible why why do you think it is close to impossible because i look at a situation mm. where i have my phone <laughs> when i'm about to reach home i, I switch it off i don't even switch it off i hide it where they cannot access me i put it in my pocket i reach home i just take it to my bedroom i hide it i do the same in the morning and you know i do it for the whole year how will they access my phone they will not access your phone but now you go back to school and there is this new culture which requires children to use tablets which requires them to google answers to do some work research. online yes to research these little ones in primary level mm. they are doing all those things so now even if you hide your phone a time will come and you'll be reading in the question paper the homework paper and it will be there Re using internet <laughs> tell us or describe this or re from your research mm. that you carried out over the holidays and you'll find that they required a, f a cell phone they required a tablet they required something to help them access the internet so now the issue goes back to how will you control where, where will you put the limit how you control is how you will be able to manage these little children from going overboard because there is going overboard yeah these children should only access that little information that they need right now and stop there what do you mean by little information because like i said that these these kids are, are, are really so so sharp if i can if, uh, if i can use that word yeah they, they are, are they are so active upstairs that before you know that the, the features of your phones <laughs> they're already teaching you dad this does this that you have this app in your phone which you don't even know now how can i as a parent a uh, guard them to access only the information that uh, they need secondly i'm helping a parent out there mm, uh, mm. who is a parent to a young child and they don't know which content exactly uh, their children should access and which content their children should not access mm, for like i want to give you like an example of youtube yes because there is too much youtube and kids would go there and watch obscene things yes youtube introduced youtube kids it's there and it's particularly meant for kids and it has content for kids strictly for kids so instead of downloading this mainstream youtube of ours which carries everything mm. you get for them there those YouTube abusing kids. those uh -huh, who are those naked abusing, what, what, all that stuff you be able to download like let's say youtube kids mm. then again we have like dstv has a parental control even on its ads and all those children's channels they have that parental control go on and use those services then even for your phone you can put a passcode you can put a password for some things that you don't want these children to have even in your own phone you can use a password and they will never go through however much sharp they are once they learn one and then you change and you switch to another one but there is so much parental control you can put those limits dstv has that feature i think even other platforms do have that even some TVs, you just set it and you know limit your child. You know they are going to watch and stop here. Parental control. Parents should dive into that. There is that parental guide. You read through those guides that come. And they will help you on how to limit what your children can access. Same applies to the phones and these tablets. Once you buy it, you install that app in it. Once the child tries to go on the other side, the app brings them back to the children's section. Yeah, the parental control apps. Wow. That is why we encourage you as a parent to always tune in to Family TV, Church of Uganda Family TV, because we have family-friendly content with a Christian focus, content that is not compromised. So if you're looking for what your child can watch, we have Kids Vibe here. 
purely <laughs> christian yeah. content yeah yeah <laughs> that your child that will enrich your child's life you need to come in as a parent sure and censor and filter mm. and be able to tell which what which content should my child be able to watch and mm. what shouldn't they be able to watch you need to come up with a design or a program for them don't just leave the gadget don't just leave the phone mm. no 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 don't just leave the tv because it's tv there are those ways it's also technology so equip yourself with that knowledge because this technology is here with us it's not going anywhere however much the, but we need to find a way of using it rightly mm. so that it doesn't affect us negatively so uh, i want us i want you to help us draw a difference between the kids tabs the content <coughs> mm. that is in the kids tabs and that which is in the the, the other tabs that are not for kids is there any difference in the content is there content that is uh, inbuilt are there apps that are inbuilt in those tabs that are not in these other tabs you know how, how what is the science there so that a parent out there can know that if i'm going to buy a, oh, maybe they would even know why they need to buy these tabs for their children and not leaving them with their phones as a subsidy Okay, thank you mm. so much. There is so much difference between um, kids' tablet and like the mainstream phones mm. or tablets. A kids' tablet is mainly built and meant to serve children's purposes. For a fact, most of them only take YouTube kids. They don't have this allowance of mainstream YouTube. You try to download it and it, it can't go there. It can't because this is a child's gadget and they know which information is should be consumed by this age by this age of somebody so now these children's tablets they come with games which are already installed content learning content games songs and rhymes to sing along to things to learn like abc all those one two three numbers and all those introductory things so as the child goes on growing we have apps <clears throat> Most of these schools now have these apps. They you sh they share with the parents, and the parent is able to transfer that app onto the child's tab for strictly learning, mm -hmm. and they cannot access any other information apart from educational content. They are either doing a science quiz or test or learning something, digestion, all those things, but they are not into googling. How did th this go? How does that? How does somebody do this or that? How can I still? No, 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 no. And actually, that's how a parent's phone causes a threat to a kid. Now, our phones are open, mm. you know, because now for us, we are adults. So if you leave your child with your phone, they can get missed more than a child who has a kid's tab. Okay. Because for it, it's open. You have everything there. Everything is there. It's just that you are not using and it. And you search for a lot of things uh, throughout that day. Mm, even you can go in your search engine and mm. be able to tell what your child was up to. Sure. Yeah, sure. because they always keep a record. Keep a record of them down. If you scroll down, you can be able to tell. Mm. So yeah, a kid's tablet is at a very high advantage. Re I can recommend it 100% than a child using your phone or an adult's tablet or pc if that pc has been set with a password with a limitation that a child cannot cross it's okay but once it's out there for everyone to use it's of great danger to the child okay mm -hmm. so at what <laughs> age should should a kid stop using the kids tablets the age where it stops is maybe... Or oh, they, they have categories that a, 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 a child within this age bracket can use this tablet and then when they yeah, advance, they, they can have, use this. Mm -hmm, they have that kind of advancement. Mm. Every age comes with a different enhancement. They keep growing. Mm. The tech goes higher and higher and higher and higher as the age grows. And then they will reach a point maybe at senior six or five and outgrade as they enter into university and maybe acquire a cell phone for okay. themselves. Okay. Yeah, because we can no longer stop it. You'll also need to call this son or daughter of yours. You'll not say, I can't talk to my child because I don't need him <laughs> to have a phone. So then now when you don't to talk to them, it's another problem. Why yes. is this child? What is happening with him? 
Okay, this is interesting. In other words, there is no there is no specific age at which these children can stop using these kids tabs. Yeah, though they also come in categories. You need to first tell me, tell us which age does your son or daughter lie so that we find a most appropriate one. Is it necessary about the age or the class in which they are? Yeah, it's it's about that because, because uh, uh, the two are different. Someone can be fourteen <laughs> when they're in P four, another one can be fourteen when they're in senior one. Oh, yeah, they all go handy. They all go handy in a way that if you're fourteen, mm -hmm. and but in this day and era, who is fourteen and is still in P two? Man, they are there. They're <laughs> okay, there. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> but then we shall get him the one for people who are in P two mm. for it to introduce to him words like port, because that's what those people are learning. <laughs> you have to go on and learn chair, making sentences. Yeah, it's okay. We shall give him what which has the favorable learning content for that particular class or age group okay do they use internet as well yeah they do use internet they do use internet because you having up-to-date information so, so I, I do you use wi-fi or they have slots for sim cards some have slots for sim cards whereas some don't have and only depend on wi-fi so what if we can't access wi-fi if you can't access Wi-Fi, some information is pre-downloaded and doesn't use, doesn't require mm. all that constant internet okay. check. You understand? Mm -hmm. There is that content that you can always go through, like these school apps, most of them. Mm. You don't need internet to keep it running, really. So you find once you've downloaded it, you're done with that and the children can go on. Well, uh, in our earlier discussion, when I asked uh, how the young people use, uh, use technology, you gave us a few advantages of using technology as young people in this generation, like uh, e-commerce and um, education and what. But we now want to derive into those other advantages that we did not talk about of using technology. As uh, as me, what what of what advantage I am if I use my smartphone uh, compared to that one who uses this. The one we commonly call as an analog phone. <laughs> <laughs> the the Mapesa. Phone. Hey. Um, of what advantage are you yes. vis a vis the person who is using the uh, button what, phone? What other what additional advantages do I have or we privilege do. do I have if I'm computer literate uh, that someone who is not misses out? There is so much. There is so much that that person who has a button phone will miss mm. out. Because as I had said earlier that mm. most of the systems that we run on today are computerized. Yes. We are online. Mm. These computers have our database. They, you enter into the bank, then they want something to do with your phone faster, first chap chap, and you're done, mm. which the other person may not be able to get. Okay, someone will be like, we raise an argument like, you can call someone and I can also call mm. someone. You can text somebody and I can also <laughs> text somebody. But You've reminded me of an <laughs> argument of recent that came about phone, phone brands. And someone, an uh, iPhone can and do this. Eh? A a techno, techno can do how it. you can tell a message sent by an <laughs> iPhone and another sent by a techno. <laughs> For a day, and then we someone, see someone running away. <laughs> and someone said, as long as we all call and receive. <laughs> as long, but for those two brands, they both fall in the category of smartphones. Mm. So these two people receive really the same information mm. or receive almost the same services. But now when you compare with someone who has a button phone, mm. really, now we have like uh, these means. You have to scan. Some things require yes. scanning, a passport, things like a driving permit. We are here at your service. Edwin Austin Mukalas is my name with Jack, uh, sorry, with Barbara at Kunda. And yeah. we are discussing technology use for the young generation. Because remember, this program is centered around improving the mindset of you as a young person. And that is why we are here this evening. And we are grateful that you're watching us in the comfort of your living room on your phone. You may, you might be in traffic jam going back home. It is all well. You can, as long as you can access Church of Uganda Family TV. But uh, Barbara, uh, Barbara yes. uh, before the, this other break, we are we are talking about the advantages, and you had posed the question, and the answer is really <laughs> no. 
they cannot, they, you know, they'll find a lot of hardship. They'll need to move to neighbors to help them scan this and send it. And, you know, sometimes when information, some uh, confidential information goes through very many hands. It's also a danger. Yes. It poses danger and Exactly. Risk. Mm. Because you don't, you're not sure whether this person shares it again to some other uh-huh. people. For their own use. Exactly. Now, well, are there any other advantages before we go to the disadvantages? Of using technology? Yes. There are so many. <laughs> they are numberless. <laughs> yes. Because of time, let us now switch to the disadvantages. What disadvantages am I at if I stick to the rudimentary technological methods? I don't want to use smartphone and some religions actually, some denominations have gone ahead to tell their congregations that to keep away. Yes, to keep away from uh, smartphones, they are they are they are they are part of uh, the triple six and what and all that. <laughs> you know, those contradicting uh, that, that contradicting doctrine. So what advantages are those people do those people have? in this technological growing era what disadvantages do they have mm. those who choose to keep away yes and, from technology um, they try to deny themselves yes. that this thing is here mm. and we are it has not, come to stay yeah, you we, have no controversy. okay the disadvantage is that they are going to always keep us behind mm. for example you remember like during covid time that we would all stay tuned and want to listen to the presidential address about COVID. Yes. It was all technological. Radios, TVs, everyone would be knowing. Even an old lady in the village mm. at 8.30, the president is going to be on and he'll be telling us. And they could even manage to translate it into different languages. That's another form of technology. Mm. Now, just imagine you deny yourself that chance. Where would you get that information? That means you'd wake up in the morning and they've imposed a lockdown and you're busy moving. You, you get arrested <laughs> along the way. It, it's okay, it's of your own loss, mm. if I may say. Mm. Don't go in for it for the bad things, but go in for it for the advantages, which are so many. And the best thing about it is that it makes our life convenient mm. and simpler. We we'll still do the very things we used to do, but in a much simpler form now i've given you that example of that communication that used to come in and someone in rukunjiri knows somebody in kabira maido knows that there is a lockdown you can't go anywhere we all know people communicate you had yes we had so it's for your own advantage then again, now you would miss that and you're arrested then there is also another example like mm, you're registering or you have your confidential information let's say it's your health status mm. and you know you have to share with this person because they have to take a picture and send it on your behalf someone gets to know all that information mm. you maybe you're single you're divorced someone gets to know and they may use all this information in the long run against you which may be bad like they take away your privacy so choosing to to live in that rudimentary way can only make you lose out I was actually talking to some lawyer of uh, a few days ago, and she told me that these days, even in court, things have changed. You no longer need to go with physical files that people used to go with. Everything is electronic. Files are filed in electronic, so the information is sent and the, 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 the schedules are sent electronically. Now just imagine you refuse to do that. That means you'll be cheating your client. Sure. And in the long run, you'll end up with no clients because even the client will get on board and realize that my last lawyer didn't do this mm. and they were supposed to do this. Mm. Then again, there is like an example of this, maybe delivery. Someone wants to deliver for you. Then you, you have to board because you, you don't want, you know, you don't want someone to bring that thing. So that whole inconvenience, time consuming, you come to town, it rains, they steal from you. <laughs> it's at your own loss. Wow, 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 wow. If you look at the good things it does, you cannot really choose to keep in the rudimental way. True, mm. true. Why would you? For example, you're in traffic jam and you want to watch Flourishing Hub, but if you, you, you're stuck 
in the rudimentary way. You can only watch family TV once, when, you're, home. W- once you're home. <laughs> Yet we have the family TV app, which can only be accessed on a smartphone. And now, you reach home and the power is gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you keep yourself behind? Mm, you can, yeah, so uh, uh, we, we now want to look at the impact of technology use on the young generation. Is th- has this technology impacted our generation? Uh, will it impact our generation, especially when it comes to transforming Africa? Yeah, yes, yes. It will impact our generation greatly, far How? and beyond. How? For example, if I would take an example of now, technology has um, boosted creativeness. Hmm. It has enhanced innovativeness. People, if you, if, like on these social media platforms, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, people are so creative in a very good way. People are busy sharing the word of God. They take you through daily devotions. They remind you to pray. This very TV, family TV, on Sundays, you broadcast live. Even if I'm not able to go to church, I have the church with me at home, in my sitting room. I can be able to attend service. During COVID-19, everything was on. Like, you couldn't miss the word of God, unless if you don't want to. But the impact of technology is great. It's really great. Creativity has gone on a higher level. Creativity in things which are productive, not necessarily wrong things. The word of God, creativity in selling, people's nurturing their talents, artists, Mm. singers, writers, boosting people's confidence. People start to believe in themselves because they can have their phone, record themselves, correct their errors, Mm. and send their script out there to the world. And before you know it, they are making some money out of it. People teach us hacks, a hack on how to do this, mm. how to deal with a, a crying baby, how to deal with a baby who doesn't want to eat food. On social media, you get all that information for free because you're simply scrolling through your phone. And there is information for each and everybody. Once your car breaks down, what can you do? It's so much. So the impact is great. It's already great and it's going to continue to be great. Wow, wow. Yeah, wow, it's wow. really taking us somewhere. The, the job creation. Mm. So much job. Like, you can't see it, but there is so much job creation on internet. People are working. At the end of the day, there is mobile money in exchange mm. for these products that you see. There is so much payment in and out. And people have had to earn a living and live by that. Yes. So, why do you want to, to lag behind? <laughs> you shouldn't lag behind. Let's embrace technology because it has come to stay. Whether you like it or not, you either choose to, to, to adopt technology or you stay behind and you lose out on whatever we are talking about. Remember, this program has, uh, um, has a pillar which is aimed at transforming your mindset, giving you the right mindset so that you can thrive through this world. How are you going to thrive through the world when you, 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 you've, you've chose to step back, to remain backward, <laughs> <laughs> yet things are, are trending? You're denying yourself these mm. free things. You yeah. reminded me uh, days back when Facebook uh, was not so popular as today. Very many preachers were preaching against Facebook. That that is uh, uh, from Time the devil stage. and what they had a lot of things that, that was to hell. <laughs> exactly that was attributed. And then when lockdown came in, every preacher was was having a Facebook live, and a platform, like, exactly. and they're yeah. even asking for the mobile money <laughs> yeah. to come through. <laughs> <laughs> so you ask yourself then, how has it changed from being a devil's thing to now? a channel of evangelism yeah so we have to embrace technology but in the right ways. exactly yes exactly we just have to embrace technology in the right ways because we can no longer do without it mm. we cannot keep without it but let's try to filter and know which information to take in look through the people that you follow of what importance are they to you what do they add to you of value of great importance that is going to make you a better person tomorrow 
yeah don't just follow anyone because there's so much devilish work and yes. all those bad things there mm. but you just choose things that will give your mental health peace and that will take you in a better place mm. tomorrow because you gain so much you, the speakers motivational speakers telling about telling us about so many things mm. and you find sometimes they are touching your issue and you you come out you keep on coming out of your shell and you become a better person day by day so you just have to to filter and find out which information are you supposed to listen to which information are you supposed to view then once you know what you're supposed to view what you want for yourself technology will be a good place for you to be wow 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 and this is my last question yes. to you uh, earlier you also talked about the role of parents and you said that parents should be key in guiding children when it comes to technology use now mm. what is their role in in, in all this us as parents, mm. our role is to guide and counsel. You can guide and counsel your children about technology. You need to be aware of it, first of all. You're not going to guide these children about <laughs> something you know nothing about. You'll be misleading them. Yes. So now you know about this thing. You've learned it. You know it's goods and bads. You take them through. My dear children, this is what is on the internet. This is what you'll find here and here. But please, let's choose the right direction. Even as they counseled us during our time, you will find people of good counsel and those of bad counsel. So please follow people who are on the right track. Mm -hmm. So guide and counsel your children. Then another thing, find a way of giving them the right information or filtering for them. Help them to, 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 to get the other information which is good. That is by using passcodes, passwords, the parental guidance, the parental control, the remotes, setting those security alarms in case the child is trying to divert from what they should have been concentrating on. That's also your duty or your role as a parent and as a guardian to, to put in those measures to make sure that, okay, in case this child has been diverted, how can I get, how do I get to know and I take them back mm -hmm. on track? That's what I would advise a fellow parent out there. And then also help these children to develop their talents using technology, if it can help them. Yeah. So what, 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 is your, what are your parting shots, your last remarks on today's oh, topic? The last remarks would be that technology is here to stay. Technology is good for us all. However, we have to find a way of making sure it doesn't affect us negatively. That is by censoring the people you follow, censoring the information that you take in, and keep yourself with things that are going to be of great value to you. Because with technology, everything is out there. It's you who will pick. And what will you will choose is what you will become. Yeah, that wow. is my question. Thank you so much, Barbara, for... <laughs> sharing oh, with us the parents and the upcoming parents like my producer Jonah Jal and all of you out there who have been watching us now when we talk about technology just in case you've missed this program or you've joined in when it is ending it will be uploaded on YouTube COU a Church of Uganda family TV on our YouTube channel and remember to watch Subscribe if you, you, you've not yet subscribed. Watch and share. I, I, I believe you know that we have a campaign that is running. The more you share, you stand yourselves, you, you yourself a chance to win a prize that we give out at the end of the month. But also, you have a chance to come in our studios, in our morning show, and, you know, talk to us and talk to the people out there who know you. So, thank you so much for watching today's Flourishing Hub. I believe it has been of great importance. I believe that your mindset has been improved. You who started with, with us and you are still with us. Edwin Austin Mukalazi is my name. And just in case you admire my outfit, yeah, the gentleman behind this is called Mokisa Jonathan. Now, you can DM me. I'll give you his details. Jonah Jal, my producer, was here. So, Jonah Jal, 
So all the Jonas do wonders. Jonah on my outfit and Jonah Joe, the producer, <laughs> Wakabi. But in transmission, we have Didmas. May the Almighty God bless you until we meet again next Monday. Good, Good night. night.